Hi guys! So today's video, I'm going to show you how to do these laser, or blue laser foil rainbow nail thingies. <laughs> it's a little time consuming, but let's get started. So I'm going to show you how to do this on a false nail, and I'm going to use my new um, glass multicolored um, nail stand. And I think I got this on Amazon for like five bucks maybe six bucks something like that i don't know but everything that i use will be down in the uh, description below and the cool thing about it is the stand is magnetic see pulls apart so easy so what you're gonna need don't necessarily have to use this foil but i wanted to because it's so pretty this is probably like five feet worth of it, but I'm almost out because I've used it a lot. You're going to need some scissors. A base coat, but use a regular base coat and then put this on top. And I'm also going to use um, a gel top coat. And you're going to need a lamp. So first thing, if you're going to do this on your own nails, I highly recommend that you put on a regular base coat and then put something like this or even black on top of that. And I'll tell you why in a little bit. And after you let this dry, then we're going to do the next step. So I'm going to go in with my uh, gel top coat and you want to give this a pretty thick layer, not, not too thick that it runs off and if you get this on your skin, definitely wipe it off with some acetone or rubbing alcohol or what have you. Just don't get it on your skin, put your finger in the lamp, otherwise that's going to hurt. Then the next thing, I'm going to take a little piece of this foil and then I'm going to cut them into really small, thin strips. We want them to be long enough to fit your finger. Cut them that way and then across, that way you can get them off. After you have your strips, now you can apply that on top of the wet top coat. Place one in the middle and then place the next one right up against it. That way you don't see the color underneath. The color underneath is only um, a sort of barrier per se. Um, that way you don't really see anything underneath the foil. That's why you really want to get it in close. And with each strip, push the strip down into that foil, or excuse me, <laughs> put the foil down into that wet coat. That way, when it's cured, it just peels up properly. And once you're done putting all the strips together, it should look something like this. Now, put that in the lamp and cure it for one minute. Once that's done, now you can peel off that top layer of the foil. See? Just like that. It should come off clean. You want to do that for the entire nail. Now, if you were doing this on your own nail, what you want to do is make sure that you have enough back there towards the cuticle, but also have a way much of an overlap down by the free edge. That way you could just peel it from the free edge to the cuticle. And then go back in with another layer of top coat and make sure that it's really thick and it gets down in those crevices.
and then pop it back in for another minute. Now what you want to do is either take a paper towel or lint-free pad and use acetone or 91% isopropyl alcohol or rubbing alcohol or whatever the hell they call it these days <laughs> and get off that sticky, slimy, tacky layer. And then just make sure that the foil isn't sticking out anywhere. Make sure the nail is nice and smooth and also that you have that nasty... Um, um, that nasty stuff gets off the top of the nail and if need be which I do highly recommend which I didn't do um, is that you should put on at least two or three other top coats and cure in between each layer and that's pretty much it it's so easy and that's how I got these oh they're just amazing Alright guys, thanks for watching. Love ya.